What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, when I first started this channel, one of my first videos that I did was turning ears on a deer and getting the cartilage out of them. Uh, after a couple of hundred deer that I've mounted since I made that video, I have been doing a little bit of research and some experiment just seeing which stage of the process would be easiest to remove that cartilage. Uh, Y'all know as well as I do, if you ever try to do it when the deer is fresh, uh, that cartilage in the sinew can be kind of, kind of, uh, the word isn't brittle, but it, it can tear pretty easily because it's, I guess, because it's still just got so much moisture and stuff in it. But what I have come to, to realize is that after the pickling stage, once it is done uh, being neutralized, that's going to be, in my opinion, the best time to remove that cartilage. The good thing doing it this way is the hide has toughened up significantly. Uh, it's not near as fragile as when the, when the cape is fresh. And it really surprised me how tough that skin is on the backside of that cartilage. You can remove it easier than when the deer was fresh, but it also is less prone to tearing. So it's, it's really a win-win situation. Makes it a whole lot easier. I've done several like that this last week just to to make sure it wasn't a coincidence that the first one worked good or the second one. I've done several that way. And I'm telling y'all, that is definitely the way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a new video of me doing it this way. And I'll probably, I may even end up getting rid of the other video just because I feel like this is the way to do it. Uh, definitely the way that I'm going to start doing it from now on. Now to get started, we're going to score this cartilage across this ear. Just try not to cut all the way through the skin of the inner ear. One thing that is a little bit harder doing it at this step rather than doing it when the cape is still green is that this is, is tough enough to where you have to apply a little bit more pressure to it. If you're not careful, you'll actually cut a bigger hole in it just because you're pressing down a little bit harder. So just take your time and just let that pop open. see right through there let's pop that cartilage loose you'll take your needle nose pliers just start on one side or the other work the end of those needle nose up under there and just kind of twist and then push down with this thumb just start working that away from the ear if you can't get all the way up to the edge of the ear don't worry about it going this way once you work your way up the ear, if you'll pull it coming down, it will pull all of that out of there a lot easier than pulling up. I don't know why that is, but it's just easier going the other direction. Once you get the center of the ear done, you can work your way to the edges. Just take your time with this. There will be little strings up under here every once in a while that'll be hanging onto that skin and they will rip a giant hole in there before you even realize what's happened. Go ahead and cut this off so y'all can see what's going on here. So just a little bit at a time. This area right here, right in the center of the back of the ear where this little crease is, is always the worst spot. If you're gonna tear it nine times out of 10, that's where you're gonna tear it. So when you get up to, to this spot, just be real careful and just go a little bit at a time. If it starts to tear, you can always get your scalpel or knife and go in there and try to work that away from that cartilage.
and y'all can see I've still got this cartilage coming down the edge of the ear right here. If you take it from the top and start pulling it down, you'll see what it does. I don't, know, I don't know why that is, but it will just stay in one string and just peel all the way right down the edge. And that actually opens up the edge of that ear to where it's just perfect. It's just easier going down that direction than it is trying to, trying to work your way up toward the tip on the edge of that ear. Do the best you can to get that off the, the very tip of the ear to keep the ear from curling. A lot of ears like this one right here, the cartilage is almost non-existent. I mean, it's, you can see the edge of that, but I can't even feel it. And that right there is not going to stiffen up. Some deer are way worse than others. You kind of take the corner of those pliers and just pick that till it comes loose. You can get up under it. Same thing as that other side. See how it just peel right down the edge? And it just takes all that right out of the, the corners there. Then what you're going to do is turn around. You're going to go back the other direction. Back toward the ear butts. Be kind of careful right in here too. There's another spot just below where I made this incision. I normally do it close to halfway up the ear, maybe three quarters of the way down or two thirds of the way down really toward the ear butt. But right in the center, right in here is a delicate spot too. Sometimes it'll, it'll try to tear on you if you're not careful. Just take your thumb and just work that off of there a little at a time. Once you get down here, you can just push with your thumbnail and you'll take it all the way down to the inner ear. And then I leave my cartilage on and uh, stick it down in my ear liner. You can look on my, one of my other videos. I've got a, an ear liner video showing how I cut my ear liners off, or you can buy ear liners that accept that cartilage right there. So you'll just take your knife and just trim right around where you Peel down to where it meets that cartilage. We've got just a little bit more here we need to get rid of. And that right there is how it's done. Now it's just thin, thin as Kleenex. Put your ear liner up in there and you'll have a beautiful looking ear, less prone to drumming. And the adhesive was gonna stick it on that ear liner a whole lot better not having cartilage in there. Well guys, I hope that was helpful. Really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, there again, this was right after I neutralized the hide after it came out of a pickling solution before I put the tan on it. Uh, I think it's going to be better because the tan is going to be able to penetrate that ear right there uh, and not have to try and get through that cartilage. But, but to me, that, it just toughens that hide up enough to where you can get that cartilage out of there with way less tearing. Uh, I really like doing it at that step and would highly suggest that's what y'all do uh, if you're not doing it already. Maybe it's just me. Uh, y'all comment below. Let me know if uh, I've just been missing the boat all this time. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. We'll see y'all next time.